Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go y'all good evening good evening how are y'all how's everybody out there in the world hey how you doing <laughs> y'all gotta excuse my demeanor for me not being all but my body is kind of sore from working but anyway good evening this is not gonna be the normal introduction but we have more from mexico Today's topic, cartel apologizes. Since when does a cartel apologize? That's the weird part. When, the, when does a cartel apologize? Please tell me that. When does a cartel apologize? But let's get into this and see what's going on with this so-called letter. That the cartel wrote to the Mexican police. Now, about a fifth person who almost joined the four Americans who were kidnapped in Mexico in that minivan. The group all grew up together, according to the wife of one of the survivors. They were from South Carolina, where the local community held this vigil last night. NBC News correspondent Morgan Chesky is near the southern border in Brownsville, Texas. He's following this for us. Morgan, we just learned that the cartel sent a letter to the Mexican police. What do we know? Yeah, Kate, okay, this is a wild development here that's just happening in the last hour or so. These have been photos and a picture of a letter that is now circulated on social media. Uh, I do want to credit my colleague Ken Delanian for just confirming through a senior law enforcement official who told NBC News. All right, y'all, real quick. I want y'all to pay attention to this scene in this video right here. There's a body over here. There's a body right there. Either these are the two bodies right here where this is blurted out at. But pay attention to this right here. What's going on. And watch him right here. Because he pulls the body from over here. I don't know what he's going to do with a, with, a, with a body. That's not moving. That's not, that's not even animated anymore. I don't know what was he going to do with it. Put it in the back seat of the truck. But you see all these people right here? You see all these people right here? They are going to get ready to go about their whole day. Just watch. News that uh, this letter does appear to be a statement of apology from the Gulf Cartel, which, of course, uh, resides primarily in neighboring Matamoros, just across just this international bridge, in Kate. Uh, I want to read you a portion of that letter and then See, talk about the, the body several right photos that accompanied it. But this was a letter that appeared today uh, on behalf of the cartel, saying in part that they strongly condemn the events of Friday, March 3rd, of course, that being the date of this horrific kidnapping last week, in which, unfortunately, an innocent working mother died. That was the Mexican Mexican. National Kate and four American citizens were kidnapped of which two died for this reason we have decided to hand over those involved and directly responsible for the events who at all times acted wow. under their own determination and indiscipline and against the rules in which the CDG has always operated that acronym I don't know a lot about cartels but When did they come up with a uh, with rules or regulations in the cartel? When did when did they do that? I mean, I'm quite sure there is, but I don't I don't know. But the way they're talking is like you gotta ask permission to do something. But since when does the cartel? write letters to the Mexican police. The, what, 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 when did they start doing that? Uh, I, it's, it's unbelievable, y'all. It's just unbelievable. And did y'all peep the scene I was talking about? 
how all the people in the cars was just parked right there watching. Then they just went on about their way to continue their day. They seen them throw the girl in the back of the truck all hard. Probably was sitting there screaming, crying, screaming, asking for help. Nobody did anything. Sorry, baby. Nobody did anything. They just went on about their day, drove all around the pickup truck. Dead bodies being dragged in the street. They don't care. They was going home to eat. Probably get something to drink. But this dude right here is serious. Look at that gun. So let's get back into this. Standing for the Gulf Cartel. So, Kate, essentially the larger organization disavowing a faction within it. And we saw photos of multiple men sitting tied in front of a pickup truck. Very important to note here, Kate, we do not have confirmation that those men have been taken into custody they by always Mexican need law enforcement at this time. Uh, but we do have a senior law enforcement official in the United States uh, saying that he does believe this letter and believes photos released by the cartel are indeed real. Much more to come, though. Kate? Yeah, th this is really a big development, and it, it really raises the question, doesn't it, Morgan? If they're apologizing because of all the attention that's been on these American citizens, what about all the other people who are involved in cartel violence every single day? There are thousands of people missing exactly. in Mexico. Yeah, there absolutely are, and I had a chance to speak with a cartel expert a short time ago. I asked him, put this in... What in the... Man, who the fuck is a cartel expert? You got an expert on the cartel that's just going to give you business and just give you information. He's an expert. But you spoke to him. Okay. Okay. And the cartel is supposed to be Mexican drug dealers. And they're just randomly kidnapping U.S. citizens. Nah, ain't going for it. Nah. No, son. Nah. Context for us. Have you ever seen a cartel essentially act as PR following a crime of this nature? He says, I have not. The only thing that makes this different is the fact that this involved U.S. citizens. And he added that, as you mentioned, Kate, there are kidnappings, killings, indiscriminate crime that takes this place not too far from where I'm standing, uh, but because it involves Mexican citizens, there would never be an apology of this nature coming from a cartel. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Exactly. So, like I was saying, I don't know where the uh, this letter supposedly came from. But if y'all seen the letter, please screenshot it, send it to me in my comments so I can put it up on my page and we can sit and have a conversation about that but till next time y'all love y'all peace stay blessed